So we have another question right over here. Wait, right here. Okay. I'm Brock Hanson from Baxter, Iowa. That's Central Iowa. We're currently top dressing some corn with Agartain. We've seen about a 10 bushel response. My question is, we have the equipment to do it with liquid. Would you rather see it in a liquid form or dry form? No problems. Are you using uh, uh, UAN? Is that what yeah. you're? Yeah. The Agritain works in both uh, the granular urea or in the liquids. Uh, Have you seen yield bushel difference between either one, though? Yes. We're, we're both of them. I and mean, there is a little bit of yield difference between uh, using the UAN and the urea. So, Which not, one do you see more of a positive response um, from? In my own work that I've seen is more in urea than, than with the UAN, and I can't tell you why that is. Well, uh, and partly, maybe these guys can. Partly so. it would come from uh, UAN has a segment of urea, right? right. A segment About of other 50 kinds of nitrogen? 50% is urea, and the other 50% is ammonium nitrate. Okay. So by switching to, by using UAN, you know, half of the nitrogen in that product is subject to volatilization. The other half is not. Yeah. Is not. So with liquid, you'd be protecting half of it then with the Agritain? Right. With, with the Agritain, we do have another product that's a dual inhibitor that would also protect the ammonium component. So you'd have three-fourths of it protected. Okay. Another to, question? To, to, to no, finish you. that question, though, I think ultimately if you're comparing urea uh, versus UAN, I, I don't think you're going to see a lot of difference in either one of those. I think it's a personal, which choice works best for your system. Um, and maybe if there's a difference in cost, but I think overall you're going to have the same uh, same results. All right, thank you. But truly, isn't the main issue right now is that your cost per unit nitrogen in urea has generally been cheaper than UAN in the recent That's years. Right. But it depends on where you're at. Okay. Um, I mean, it's uh, out in in my world. UAN has traditionally been cheaper. Really? Than, than urea. Now okay. that's changed a little bit in the last couple of years, but UAN has been the primary source for many years, and when I priced them out, it's uh, it's usually been the cheapest source. Per cost of unit? Per cost, per, per nitrogen pound of unit. Okay. Carl, I think you have a Other questions? Oh, we go back here. here, Neil. Here we are, sir. State your name and where you're from, and you can ask the panel. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Robert Wagner from North Central Ohio. And what's your question, Robert? Okay. Uh, first of all, is there a certain temperature that we don't need this product anymore? Or another, and, and above that temperature, is that is it really needed then? Mm -hmm. And you guys got that? Is there a certain temperature that you really wouldn't need to use Agritain um, outside temperatures? Well, again, I... From my perspective, looking at the work out of uh, out of Montana, if, if you're applying one. urea on small grains, you know um, that are temperatures around 24, 25 degrees, then yeah, you still need it. I'm sure there is a temperature out there when no activity is occurring, but I'm not sure what that temperature is. The the other thing I would add though is that there is a temperature component to that, and so as the temperature gets hotter, especially like side dress corn. Then, then the potential for loss, even though there is potential for loss yeah. at low temperatures, the potential for loss definitely increases with increasing temperatures. Yeah. There's a follow-up question back here too then. Would, would you use it with ammonia sulfate? Yeah, no. No. Yeah, there's yeah. no reason to use it with yeah, ammonia there's sulfate. No. Even if you have volatile, if you have a high pH soil, like you can have out, out west, you can get volatilization of ammonia and sulfate just because anytime you have ammonia in a high pH environment on the surface, it will volatilize. But agritain is designed to work on urease inhibitor, and so it's not, it's not going to have any effect on ammonium sulfate because it's, uh, urease does not come into play with ammonium sulfate. 